the rolling hills south of Nashville is one of the most charming places you'll ever find. Just over 40 minutes southwest of Nashville and a short eight mile drive west of historic Franklin is the picturesque countryside village of Leapers Fork. It truly is classified as an unincorporated village with a population of 700 across some 1,100 acres. The fork as it's commonly known today was settled in the late 1700s by men from North Carolina and Virginia who had fought in the American Revolution. They had been given land grants as payment for their service. Leapers Fork is located on the Natchez Trace, an important travel route for Native Americans and early settlers. What was once a simple foot trail has been transformed into a two-lane parkway that runs more than 400 miles through the states of Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. Drive down Old Hillsboro Road through the heart of Leapers Fork and you'll find a community that looks much as it did a century ago. Buildings with tin roofs, folks who sit in rocking chairs on their front porches, residents will actually throw up their hand and wave at you when you go by. Since the 1990s, more and more people have started to find and fall in love with this hamlet, including a few celebrities. Tennessee native Justin Timberlake uses this century old house called Millville as a creative space when he just needs to get away from it all. When JT isn't here, it's a vacation rental. A-listers choose to settle here because locals don't make a fuss over their presence. They pop in and out of businesses along the main drag with no fanfare. Those who call the Fork home have worked really hard to keep development away and preserve its unique character. While Leaper's Fork is one of those blink and you might miss it type of places, blink and you'll miss some really cool things to do here. From laid back eateries like Country Boy, the oldest diner in Williamson County, and the original location of Puckett's Grocery, a statewide icon to clothing, home decor, antique shops, and an art gallery housed inside a renovated barn, to cozy accommodations inside historic homes, to an outdoor music venue where you bring your own lawn chair. Today, Leaper's Fork, Tennessee. Things to see and do. <laughs> Americana is on full display at our first stop, Puckett's Grocery and Restaurant. This staple of Middle Tennessee has been around since 1953 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. It originally served as a country store to several communities in the area, a place where you could get a tank of gas, some fresh groceries, and catch up with your neighbors. Mismatched tables and chairs beckon residents and travelers alike to sit a spell and sample Puckett's down-home cooking. Locals know this is the place for cherry wood smoked meats, award-winning burgers, and some of the best live music, even an open mic night once a week. There are other Puckett's locations in Middle Tennessee, Chattanooga, and Pigeon Forge, serving up the same great food. But there's nothing like the original, and it's here in the fork. Next door is a rustic building and stage constructed of cedar logs overlooking a beautiful green space. Originally built as a music venue, the Lawn Chair Theater turns into a place to watch family-oriented movies on Friday nights during the summer months. Concessions are offered, pets are welcome if they're on a leash, and be sure to bring your own lawn chair. What was once a 1914 general store in the heart of the community is now an eclectic shop filled to the brim with mostly European antique finds. If you're looking for inspiration, you'll find it within these four walls. 
Just inside the front doors, you'll notice height markers of neighborhood children going up the frame. To the right, vintage instruments hang on the wall for visitors to play. Many big names have stopped in over the years to play in the shop's famous pickin' corner. When you come into Leaper's Fort from Franklin, one of the first structures you see is this century-old barn atop a small hill. The quell on the weathered outside wall is a welcoming sign at the David Arms Gallery. Walking into this cozy, refined space is like entering into a sanctuary that's been divinely touched with creativity. This is the only place where David's original art can be viewed. It's also the only place where the full line of products can be seen that are inspired by his work. David is known for his impeccable style, reflected in his own line of men's ties. I was drawn to the series of hand-printed hunting jackets, each a one-of-a-kind piece. Picked up this David Arms original. It's a wax canvas dop kit for all those times that Abby and I travel and I need some place to store all of my toiletries. Inside is a really neat print, some of his original bird artwork in fabric form. The historic house that sits adjacent to the barn dates to 1888. A decade ago, the building was given a makeover, complete with a shimmering copper roof. This warm and inviting fine arts gallery showcases the work of nearly a hundred talented folks from Tennessee and all over the Southeast. Located in the shops at Leaper's Corner, Props Antiques is one of those places that's just fun to explore. So fun, we didn't want to leave. A huge selection of vintage signs, metal, porcelain, even neon, along with 2,000 square feet of locally sourced gifts, large furniture pieces, delicious handmade caramels, and a generous assortment of gourmet chocolate bars. It was also a nice surprise to find Wonder Made Gourmet Marshmallows here, one of our Central Florida faves. Other awesome shopping experiences in the fork include Creekside Trading Company, Picket Fence, Moo Country, and Leapers Creek Gallery. Top off your tank at Leaper's Fork Market and go inside this country store that serves up the normal gas station staples along with a grill that serves yummy sandwiches and pizza. Black and white photos on the wall provide a glimpse into the fork's past, while a community table beneath a chandelier at the front of the store allows neighbors to catch up on current events. On the same property as the market sits a tiny home that functions as the Red Bird Coffee Shop. Featured on an episode of Tiny House Big Living on the DIY channel, 
Redbird serves up coffee and joy from this beautifully designed, handcrafted space. Oh, that's good. They turned three years old this year, and they're celebrating with this latte that has a hint of orange blossom with some other spices. Kind of tastes like a holiday drink, but this one I'm enjoying during the spring. This is the coffee cake muffin. It's made from a local bakery. It smells so good. I'm so excited to try it. It's got that nice cinnamon flavor, a little icing for a little sweetness. Very, very good. Sitting on 27 rolling acres just outside the village is Leaper's Fork Distillery. This is the first legal distillery in Williamson County since the early 1900s. It's a small batch distillery producing about 25,000 gallons a year. The look of this distillery harkens back to an era before the Industrial Revolution, when large wooden structures were used as commercial spaces. Inside the still house is where the magic happens you'll find the 500-gallon Swan Neck Whiskey Still and vats of bubbly mash and cypress fermentation tanks. Tours of the facility are offered throughout the day, and visitors can sample some of the products in this 200-year-old hand-built log cabin. In operation for nearly a hundred years, the Davis General Store is one of those places where you can really slow things down and forget the cares of the world. Gas up, purchase grocery items, or enjoy a gourmet deli sandwich next to the pot belly stove. And don't forget to save some room for their famous classic cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Base camp during our time in Leaper's Fork, a charming post-Civil War house called Brigadoon Cottage. This well-appointed 1,700 square foot home is decorated in a Scottish theme, with antiques and vintage items carefully placed throughout. It has two bedrooms that can sleep up to eight people, two bathrooms, a fully stocked galley-style kitchen, and so much more. My favorite is the warm and cozy sitting area at the front of the house. The high ceiling, antique chandelier, and homey little touches make this an Airbnb you'll have a hard time leaving. Thanks for watching. We have plenty of other travel guides here on the channel and interesting videos about history. Hope you can take some time to check those out. From Leapers Fork, Tennessee, see you next time.